uh, yeah, I mean, this, if you look at Evos, and it's very well rounded, so it's really going to come down to whether TNC can make that Spectre work this time again Prepare without the Kunker Core, or whether Evos can find the their own timings, Step like around the Beastmaster Roar running about, hey, around the Juggernaut hey, rotating hey, early hey, once he gets his levels, hey, and uh, no. also the Dragonite, of course. Like, yeah, very powerful push to just group up around as a four or five man unit and take down tier ones very easily, at the least. Should be a good match regardless. Oh, I see the dual lane shape up. Toiku Indra Uta. <laughs> Quite the name here on the Lushrike. Yeah, that, that water has been scattered out though. We have a sentry al already. 30 seconds so to this camp will not be blocked for long. Well down bottom. Sort of a tussle there as well. So it's, it'll be these dual lanes. You would now. imagine. Go which uh, should be in favor of Evos. Again, just because Spectre is such a weak laner. Uh, you can give it a blast to in your dream. Making sure that he has as good a start as possible in mid. You can already have his style parried out if he wants to. I mean, Konka very limited to utility that he can bring early on. I mean, Torrent without a setup. Sometimes you can hit him, sometimes you don't. But either way, it's not a lot of damage potential. So a lot of that pressure is going to have to come from Legion Commander, which is possible, but you're never really going to be able to put the Juggernaut under threat for too long. Because of the spin, because of the healing ward and whatnot. So this dual lane down here should be fine, just with the Witch Doctor helping out, trying to keep uh, the Kunker at bay, ranged against melee. As the support matchups also in your favor, and you stick up top. Spectre, sure you're gonna have that heal available for 1437, but we already see him being zoned away from the creeps, having to last it under the tower, which uh, is not particularly easy without the Quelling Blade available. Gotta be really careful about uh, these axes sta stacking up. Bottle of Shrike hitting level 2, where you can. A bit of a setup here with the Lightning Storm slow for your own stun. Perhaps not just on the Spectre, but also on 1437. So it's certainly a lane that you're gonna have to keep an eye on. Whereas in mid, well, we've seen this matchup time and time again. Uh, especially in Birmingham. We've even seen or heard a lot of boos. When Dragon Knight was picked because everyone was really, really sick of it. Just such a non lane. Can't really do anything here. It's, uh, what's the concept? The concept of the dead lane where no one can really gank it because it's very h low probability of being successful. Dragon Knight very tanky with that Dragon's Blood. So you need a lot to actually kill him early on. Same for the Death Prophet with the Spirit Cypher. So instead, what teams do these days is just go for these dual lanes, trying to just straight up outplay. Well, there's no runes to grab, or at least no bounty runes in these these two minute marks, so they have a lot more time to just make these kind of plays. As actually, the going for the track here, stun is still available. Actually, does get off on the Spectre. Extra couple right clicks with the damage over time. Not quite enough to finish him off. Oh, 458 with the self. Unable to actually stop it. And there it is. Last right click. We'll find it before the stun comes through. 1437. Going first blood. On to the Shrek here. All these seals. <laughs> Starting to uh, make a difference here. That extra sustain. Compared to uh, Shrek, got himself an extra salve, and they have a few tangos to work with still. Not on bottom, yeah. Logic, oh god. He just at level 3, <laughs> so. <laughs> didn't have the healing ward for a second. Would have been very dangerous, but. Just got it ready to go. Good thing, too, because he's out of tangos. Two more on the Witch Doctor, so. 
just the power of this Legion Commander, right? You have so much burst with the overwhelming odds. You have some extra life steal with a moment of courage. Good amount of health points anyways, you can just spend some time doing this, just one of them and right click. And uh logic. Oh god, caught with the tar and the cast. And I think the round here with a spin on top of that Maledict Zephyr. He's certainly going to die from this. Okay. Oh wow, he found him. <laughs> Enough damage, so that'll be a good trade for TNC. And it's forward back in mid actually. They're gonna make a play for Face Hugger. Sure, that's gonna be successful though. With only the one spirit siphon, nah. Spectre though up top, alright. They're <laughs> diving all the way in there. Evos. Yeah, this is what I expected to happen out there. Might see more of that here if uh, he's mastered. And there's another mango available, so what you want to do is just spam these wild axes if you go for these plays, just to stack up that extra damage from your right clicks and from your subsequent axes too. Which uh, is quite a bit. Especially if you're thinki thinking about the Spectre early on. Alright, it's boundary rune time. Logic. Can he snag this one away? He cannot. Okay. Uh, gets one. Two for two trade overall, I do believe. Meanwhile, White Moon. Yeah, he's X. He's taunted. He is very much dead. Or is he? The cask? The TP? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. The perfect distance for the cast to bounce before the right click animation can come through. That was just... <laughs> was standing on the blade and jumping off it. Oh. Ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> Another turn with Logic still a spin. He might be fine actually. Maybe not though. The axe is still available. Yes, the healing ward out. And keeping it inside the trees and barely keeping him alive. Logic. Phew. It's still to walk away. Ah, oh, there it is. They have an extra self. New World Level 1 doesn't actually heal for all that much. So if you're down to virtually no health points, it will not bring you back up to full. You can get that extra health. Pima mid though, double spirit siphon. Follow up stun is there. Even the DD for the track, but just not enough. With all of this heal, another torrent. Coming in, Zephyr makes rotation, has some few creeps to help him keep track of the track. Extra stun. As uh, 1437 also joins the party. Face is the one who actually drops lower, lower, lower kill catapult. <laughs> oh. They do get that kill with the help of the Fatal Bonds as well as the Shadow Word. Slowly taking him out. God damn, a lot of action everywhere now, okay. Trying to run away, heal himself up, and spin damage is not enough. At level three. Again, this is the melody cooldown. Fifty seconds. Didn't have it available to provide a little bit of extra. Doesn't stop. Stun in mid. There's one spirit siphon available. Cannot even get it off. Plenty of bursts, and that was just when the rest of TNC were smoking themselves up. Bit of an unfortunate timing for them, but maybe they can still turn this around. Rubber delayed counter kill, but they will need the DP back for that. Face Hacker, level 7. Still only two points up on a Dragon's Blood, but 1400 health points to work with. You need some extra help to burst through that. Don't want to go for it. Right. Face Hacker. She pops his ultimate. Actually, still starting the fight onto the DP, but now X into Torrent. And we'll read TP in from the Shrak with the Split Earth onto the Death Rods, but Sword Siphon came out. Nice little body block there. Cannot make it inside the trees until it gets his way through. But with the accident committed, with the extra nuke, across the tree line, they secure that kill at the same time on top. Spectre goes down again solo to a Vill. Yeah, looks like it. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. What I was talking about, Spectre, very, very bad later. Can't really leave her alone in most 1v1s, but... Well... X 
action all over the map here. It's very hard to keep up, but there was a bit of pressure on bottom, but that's been responded to as K came back. Yeah, white room, cast, Baden, extra duel. He actually wants to fight you with Spectre coming in, trying to turn us around. The duel will not be successful, but they still get the kill, K. Is he gonna take after this? I do not believe so. No, last tick, just barely not enough. He would love to Maledict, but now White Moon? Looks like he's fast enough on his feet. That's one thing that's very nice to do. You can, you die, but then you can just get straight back out to lane with your ultimate, grab a kill, and then take a TP. Get back out, but now, for now, he's sitting in his bottom lane. Couple of TPs into the tree lines. White Moon, he's not actually left. 458 in a bit of trouble eating his blood for the trees. But a beautiful split earth. He should be dead, maybe not, with the heals coming through from the Warlock. Again, no melody to just take him out through that. Phew. Living on the edge. More than one ways here. Yeah. Or more ways than one, is the best way to put it. So I to still see him down here. I mean, he didn't p get a TP when he haunted out. So he could not have immediately ran back to a different lane. Uh, they're actually giving more priority towards K right now. And um, might work out for them in the end. You know, if he gets his Blink Dagger, he can be much more effective in creating space later on for Spectre. Yeah, otherwise you'd probably see him be very happy that the T1 tower died up top because it normally means that uh, the enemy offlaner will go for other endeavors and instead of sticking around to this lane giving you a hard time. But uh, instead they put him into that offlane which is certainly not easier for the Spectre. So. Alright. Dragon Knight going on again, Warlock's still not on the 6, but they do have the Fatal Bonds. So for the control, Rob Stun, cast bouncing through though with White Moon. They got the Maledict down to Zephyr, they're focusing on the Conqueror first, and they should be able to finish him off. Especially with the Logic coming in, the, uh, on this is actually transferring over, 1, 4, 3, 7. It's gonna be the secondary casualty here. Damn, ill logic. Either it was luck or it was pure skill, just firing the jump. Must have been a max range. That Omni Knight jumps. Uh, Omni Knight. Omni Slash jump. So, getting a few kills. Stopping them from getting the tower with that second Exorcism committed. I mean, it hasn't even taken all that much damage. So, so far, so good. Oh, well, straight back to. What the hell? What's he doing down here? Getting roared, alright. On the target that they wanted, 4th of 8 made his way into the trees. Kinda hard to find him there, but hey. This is the kind of pace that you would expect from a lineup like Evosis. Oh, on, up top. Gonna go with the duel once again. This time it is a winner. Plus 10 damage. Has to bring down a Juggernaut, so hey. They are fighting back, but is it gonna be enough, right? I mean, you have a Dragonite, you have a Beastmaster, you'd expect them to be able to push down these towers, and that's exactly what they're doing. Meanwhile, White Moon, hard on side though by Zephyr. It's a bit of support, but too late to save his life, and K, going to be a bit too tanky, especially within your dream. Also, joining the party's bird siphon, slowing them down, does have another one available, two more, in fact. But they also have the Axe, so uh, will be the sacrifice on top of White Moon. So as much as you would expect the Evos to be pushing, you'd want them to push as 4 or 5 instead of being more split up like that because, I mean, if they're being caught out like this, it's perfect, uh, like, uh, <laughs> it's the perfect size of skirmish for TNT to take on. Because they don't want to fight 5v5, they would just want to fight 3v3, 4v3 or something like that. Now Spectre, oh, he's the one who's not supposed to be involved in any of this, but he's run straight into a logic. As well as two, two. Time to survive, but White Moon's on the other side. He can use that on the slash, just to make sure he doesn't weasel his way out of this one. 
White Moon might end up dropping here. We are with the X. Man, self the creeps. Nope, not quite. Oh, okay. Just thinking about it. But fall, fell a little bit short with that blink. Very good timing on that, though, with that, uh, with that emphasis that they put on it. So it is something that Evos will have to keep in mind when they go for these kind of pushes again, like uh, a villain face hugger. The same thing that they did before, finishing what they started with the bottom tier 1 tower. So already again the smoke rotation. The new dream showing me is to make sure that's not all that obvious. We might catch one or two here on the retreat, or perhaps and they're baiting out a play in mid. The exorcism, yeah, I mean, it should be obvious that something's going on. The question is, will you expect the angle? White Moon is there, breaking the smoke, and I think he caught a glimpse of 1437, but K is still there, ready to blink in, and there it is. Finds White Moon with the golem drop down three. Fatal bounce as well, the boat, just to make sure. They get the tower, they get another dual damage win, or another dual win. The extra damage, and. They get space for Spectre. 16, almost 17 on gold and 458. now. I'm not forgetting about him. He's invading this jungle. Stun will be off the mark. 458 actually started the fight group in the dream, showing the party, so. Instead of getting the kill, they feed one towards the Spectre, which is the opposite of what you want. Seems to feel a lot more comfortable than you probably should in the stop lane. Let's see how long it lasts though. Witch Doctor's there. They need more solid lock lockdown. They need a roar or something. But a will, he only but <coughs> he's go only going to finish up the Shadow Blade in a couple of minutes. So that'll be when he's gonna be more actively hunting, one would imagine. Okay, the Dragon Knight. I mean, it's uh, it's a hard kill to get, but if it's the only one that you see, the only one that you can initiate on readily, you might as well try and go for it here before fighting coming in, stand up with the boat, with the axe back into it. it. Takes four people to get the kill, but well, if you have the resources to make that happen, be another assist at the very least towards your Spectre, why the hell not? Make sure that DK does not feel comfortable doing whatever he wants to do. Logic though. Mm. Be careful, buddy. Spin TP is not necessarily on the cards if K was there, but he's somewhere else entirely. But what, Spectre? Why was he hanging around there? Well, did pay the price. <laughs> it was a roll with the Shadow Blade. Alright. Quite literally didn't see it coming that time. But all this just delays your radiance, like, uh. Again, there's never such a thing as a really good Spectre game in competitive because there's like really not a big chance that you get a completely free lane, which is what you would requ require to get like a radiance around like s this time, 17, 18 minutes. As it stands, he's still on the road for a decent timing, but he can't die again. Right? Spectre is very volatile. There's a little bit of room for error. But uh, it also depends on how much your team is able to accomplish in terms of slowing the enemy team down. So your relative timings are more important on Spectre than on some other heroes, rather than the absolute timings. Yeah. For now, Logic continues to do his thing. I mean, he's been. Coming up a storm, 7.5k and... Oh, that's, cool. that's a downside if you just roll solo like that. Oh, dual, just barely. Not long enough. But don't get the dual damage, but at the very least you get the kill on the Juggernaut, who's, again, up there around that 7.5k mark. Now not so much anymore. But 4 for 8 gone on again. There it is. Straight up roar. 
Follow up stun. They have TPs coming through. They also have a rock golem being dropped. Spectre's still alive, actually. With the heals and a massive reaction. Everyone else has to walk away. Oh god. They find White Moon, they find the axe. And two more heroes to the tally. Very hard to run away from these people. Conquer, not quite as ridiculous as sort of dropped in that regard, but close enough. I mean, look at this gas range. Max marks. You know, it was only the supports, but considering that this was an attempt at a kill on the Spectre. And he doesn't die there. He was involved in a couple of kills, so as a result, he's has pretty much enough gold to finish up the relic. That was a huge timing, man. timing, huge benchmark. Even if you just have the relic, it makes farming much, much easier, having that extra damage to work with. Evos. Can I find a different solution? Like, it's... I mean, getting into tier ones with uh, with your DK, with your beast master, it's one thing. Getting tier twos is an entirely different question. Full track, you should be dead with your spear damage. There we go. Illusion. Right. I might find the water key if they want him, but I have no idea. Cast. Analytic. Don't even use the raw. Alright. Don't need it. Yeah, they, they keep playing this farm game. And, um... I wonder how long this will work. I mean, they are putting on pressure on tier 2s doing that, but not as decisive as to actually threaten to bring them down. And all the time is just spent to make sure the Juggernaut can farm these lanes with Battle Fury and then Dragonite can do his thing. He's up at both of them are sitting at 9.3k net worth. Right neck and neck with each other, so that's is working out, but it's only so much time that you have, especially with the Red Spectre closing in towards the radiance. Well, anti clash here, Zephyr running into logic, tanks the entire on the slasher. Oh, maybe not. Transfer over. Zephyr is still alive with the duel coming in now. The raw, but also the warlock golem here. The duel will not actually be a victory. Nice little double stun there from the track, but all being slowed down. They're all linked up. This is a disaster for Evos. So running them down one by one. Ouch. Still looking for more. Okay. That axe did not come off in time. Get quite get the vision, but whew. looked pretty decent. But Zephyr tank into the Omni Slash, and then I think it transferred over towards uh towards the Legion in the back here. So the last couple of slashes didn't actually finish him off. Got the beautiful the Warlock Golem as well as Fate of Bonds. What was talking about the draft? Linking up four people like that. Is so decisive and now, straight into a rush pit with the axes and committed, but Evos didn't know about this. Trying to turn this around, they do not have a lot of tools to do that with here. No roll, no Omni Slash, but we have a split or stun task. Start to bounce through here with Zephyr. Being burst down first with a maledict. Oh god, that was on the track there, but not so much longer. White Moon also trying to channel, channel up the death ward. Been able to get a lot of time off of that though. So, to still secure the ages, get a few extra kills, so that contest not exactly worthwhile even when getting that uh, that warlock. Oh, logic. Uh, they can cool down. Might still be able to find him though, and he's still super, super fast, but a blink stun. W even with the raw, they might not get the duel win. They will certainly get the kill. Oh, they even get the duel with just in time, so hey. Spoke too soon. Yeah. Yeah, that fight. Blew the game wide open for TNC to just 
keep building a bigger and bigger lead. An extra free kill and DK mid. And yeah, Evo's there. We need to split up at this point. Yeah, can't be split up because then this happens. Now have the duel just wants a kill, but didn't quite get it. Four five eight. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Spectral dagger and after secured for himself, so that's nice. But hey, just picked up the Radiance, sitting up at 2k gold again. Because of that fight and the momentum it gave TNT. And, um, yeah, if you lose, you can't really split up anymore because then you're, yeah, you're gonna be picked up like that. But can you team fight? That's, that's the other question, and the answer is not really, right? I mean, two chaotic offering, the Konka. The Spectre now just being able to haunt in, get Radiance Burn on everybody, like it's It's not easy to do that either. Especially since you don't have nearly as good tools for that on your own team. Kinda missed the timing with this one botch kill on the Spectre in the bottom. Then that disastrous team fight. Yeah, I got a one now, well. What do you do with all that farm on your Juggernaut? Doesn't actually have anything to show for it right now. And this keeps happening. Well, it's not going to get any better. 50 seconds on sidelines is a dead base master. Shrek. Uh, it's not the place to be. Blink forward. DP can find the yours. Yeah, this, is, this is a dead hero. It's almost like panic mode for evils where they're trying to keep these lanes pushed out and away from their objectives. That's like the only recourse, but this is not really going to work because they can just five man down a lane and can push out side lanes quickly enough. To really make TNC think twice about continuing here. Don't have great high ground defense either. <laughs> Ooh. Things are not looking good. Let me tell you. Keep trying your logic. Is up top, skipping another creep wave. Map is TNC's to file now for the most part. Here we go again. Blink, you'll silence. Next is slow and uh, peeping out. Nothing careful it now. Didn't have to realize that, but White Moon, what's he doing here? There's a fight breaking out to the back. It's just the Shrag feeding more dual damage over towards the leading command, and they also find the axe onto logic. That's just the spin available. So it should be absolutely fine. But they just keep bleeding, they can't stop it. All this with the Spectre, it's pushing out another wave. Having the Manta style coming. Of course, he can always haunt in whenever he wants to. It's that extra bit of efficiency, but one thing to one way to exploit it is like this. Going in with the roar. They need to roar. They need to Omni Slash and hope to God that it's enough. And maybe it is, maybe it's not, but with a fresh complete mana style enough. Tank up some of these slashes, he'll be absolutely fine. But now the reinforcements are here. The spin, silence, and everything. Make sure the logic stays alive with a duel in the back. Trying to finish up White Moon. Doesn't quite get the dual damage this time. 4 for 8, haunting in. Chasing them all the way back to the high ground, but doesn't quite have enough burst on himself. To be able to finish up these tanky heroes. So you just refocus on the objective. And the catapult wave coming in. They did use the Warlock Golem, so they might not feel too comfortable actually going high ground. That as well as the horn being used. So a little bit of extra time for Evos to prepare. So has it been scattered out? Yeah, but this ward going out going forward. Huh, interesting. Do Ludens not stop selves? Or Clarities? Looks like Kunker still had it going even after he's been attacked by these Ludens. 
curious. Yeah. But even if the shark dies here, this is this is a play that he has to make. He has to try and okay. okay. Feels really bad to keep up with dual damage like that, but oh, he was smoked up. Zephyr in perfect position to actually stop it. And walk through. Oh God, the radius curl dies <laughs> with the ultimate all the top of it. Throw this gun, they had an axe, they have a torn, a will. Good trouble here if they have, and vision, and well, everyone slowed down in the back. They have Prophet in front here just trying to chase him away. They find another axe back into the logic and with no spin. They <laughs> just all die together with the fatal bonds. Oh man. That's all for a of course coming in. Doesn't even have or didn't even have his ultimate for them. Good old regular Spectre. Claim the first racks in mid, going straight for the bottom. And well, the writing's on the wall for this one. I don't see Evos coming back from this, to be quite honest with you. Just have, don't have any items. I mean, Juggernaut has been, has been all game farming, but what he has to show for it is a Yasha. Man to start recipe in the ultimate off on the dead courier <laughs> for another two minutes, so even that's not worth anything. DK has just stopped this item progression after the BKB. I mean, I haven't gotten the chance to use it yet. Radiance bottom shrine is under attack. Oh. Exposed to a seen this dance before. This is not your side of the map anymore. Well the Evos. This is all TNZ territory. Radiance bottom shrine is under uh, Just gonna play cool, get the shrines. Radiance bottom shrine. Push on top probably. Radiance top shrine is under attack. Wait for Roshan, the guy is coming back in forty seconds. Let me just wait for more opportunities to get more kills, a logic move. Look at this damage that they have for them. Horn forwards here, trying to finish him off, eating what? So for now keeping alive but there's the golem. Rid of the healing ward, the war just try and slow them down and so far so good. Face Hugger pops a BKB now again, just run away. Logic got the X back and now in between coming as well. That's the first one to fall, the duel locking down a Dragon Knight and oh, that is, is it, ladies and gentlemen. GG is called. Evos just too slow. You can see. All the time in the world, you're yeah, able to make sure to protect the Spectre long enough to keep up with the rest of the team and, uh, well, the rest is history. <laughs> Game number one, very well done indeed. So.